Uh, just a quick little video of a uh, greenhouse. Uh, got the uh, cloner, tomato cloner going. Uh, suckers cut off of, uh, see the roots growing. Takes about a week or so for them to really get going. Suckers off of these, and then also that one down there. The uh, little, I think it's a mats or a, uh, no, that one's a jasper. Hard to tell apart. Uh, anyway, got some uh, San Marzano type tomatoes here. Got a uh, bell pepper down here. I'm not sure which one it is. But, uh, you know, next year I'm going to tear these raised beds out. I'm just going to put probably one or two uh, lines of hydroponics along here. Another same thing over on the other side. Uh, probably a couple lines here for peppers. Uh, these are doing pretty good on this side. You know, it's really kind of strange because these did uh, well on the other side last year. This year they're doing better over here. Uh, that makes sense. Yeah. Anyway, big beef tomatoes. Just filled my reservoir yesterday going through water pretty good so uh, anyway those are the big beef from the nine pack these are the big beef that are original or in, in single packs a couple of these have decided to let the sucker split off it was a nice healthy one it's huge and uh, do its own thing over here to have a couple there's another one over here i decided to let go i might do the same thing over here hard to say on a couple of them Let's see if i can get as many tomatoes as i possibly can i'm not having the uh issues as fast with the well some of these leaves are kind of starting to kind of curl and die up so as that happens i'll just start clipping them up from the bottom slowly let them soak in the sun but anyway uh gonna have to start over on my lettuce it's kind of gotten away on me this one here looks like a cell thistle that's the uh, tango it bolted took off straight up strange here's the tomato plant that's just right into water that's doing really pretty good i think it's the same tomato plant as these are and it's almost caught up so I really wonder if I couldn't do a little bit of a modified uh, setup without any uh, media for soil. It kind of makes me think I can. I'll have to do some experimenting. That would be a really big savings for me if I were to just be able to use net cups and let the tomato uh, do its own thing into the into the uh, moisture, whatever. Anyway, before it runs out of room here, I'm going to include this video. Weeds, weeds, weeds. That's another reason to do hydroponics. Have a great day. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye.